What's up, Film Jammers? Today we're taking a look at how to get work in the film and video production business. It can be tough booking those first jobs and getting started, so we've got some tips that might give you a little edge. Film All right, well, let's get started with the basics. We've got begging, bribing, back alley dealing in a trench coat, ritual sacrifices, praying to any and all deities and or totem poles, and, oh, wait a minute, that was, <laughs> that's my uh, research for my next acting role. It's a family film. Use any industry forums or industry specific websites that are available. Directory listings like mandy.com are a great place to find jobs if you're in the film production business. Search on their weekly to see what new jobs are available. I found some great opportunities on mandy.com. Actually, one of my best jobs from last year was on there from a company that I emailed who had posted looking for a crew. They were looking for a DP with the same camera I owned, and next thing you know, our team booked a national TV commercial. Ooh. Now, if you're a sound tech or a steady cam operator, for example, there are specific websites and forums for these jobs. Get on there, list your skills, and let people know what you got. Join your local chamber of commerce. Every city has one, and this is a great place to meet other local businesses. And you might find that a lot of them need videos, so go to the local chamber meetings and meet people. You'll have a direct line to the owners of these other businesses in, in a casual setting where it doesn't feel like you're selling to them. Have a coffee and talk about guitar solos. It's what the people want. If clients aren't flying through the door, get out there and start doing some spec jobs. Websites like Tongle.com have open pitches where you can create spec jobs for big brands like Colgate, Banaka, Larry's Ice Cream Shop, Mattel Toys, and a lot of others. If you win, they have some pretty decent prize money. We actually did a video for Banaka that ended up winning and we got like a $5,000 payday. So it's not a bad way to spend your spare time, put a little spec job together and you might get something out of it. Even if you don't win, you have a great big brand name that you can put on your resume and add it to your demo reel. Then when you're trying to sell your next big client, they'll be like, oh, you have Colgate and Banaka and Hillary Clinton on your resume? Yes, we want to hire you, son. Or daughter. Create a great portfolio. This is really a good way to set yourself apart from other job applicants. I've had people apply for freelance jobs online and they've only sent like a paper resume. But this is a visual industry. Sell yourself with all that you have. Make a fancy demo reel, have some audio and visual fireworks. Make yourself stand out with a great portfolio. And it doesn't cost you anything aside from the time it takes you to make it. So go invest in yourself and butter up that portfolio. Keep up with filmmaking trends and gear. Just talking to people about the newest equipment or program has helped me get a foot in the door. If you're knowledgeable about equipment or technique, people are more likely to want you on their team. That's a statistic that four out of five dentists recommend. Oh yeah. Market yourself anywhere you can. At the very least, create business listings on LinkedIn, Instagram, and Facebook. And create a great website. Invest time to make your site and listings really polished. These are all ways to get potential leads, and it's the first place that a client may potentially see you. First impressions count, y'all. You never really know where somebody might find you. I've had people reach out from Instagram, from LinkedIn, even watching one of our YouTube videos. Uh, hello, yeah, Christian, we saw you work on Pinterest. It was really great, we wanna hire you for this medical video. I could do the video. That could be a potential conversation. If you're having trouble finding jobs, try interning at a production company. A good amount of the interns here at my company end up working freelance for us after a couple months. It's also a great way to network and learn the inner workings of a production company. And if you need to brush up on any skills, being on a pro set will help you get into the groove. Boy, you got to prove your love to me. Don't go for second best. Baby, put your love to the test. Talk to businesses in person. Just getting your foot in the door is half the battle. Nobody wants to cold call or cold email. The North Pole's only fun if you're a penguin. One penguin will take revenge on them all. Penguin three, deep freeze. But if you approach a business with a way to offer them something instead of trying to sell to them, you might be greeted with a much more amicable attitude. Is amicable the right word there? I've had friends approach a business to see if they could test a new camera and do a free video for their business. They didn't charge anything up front, but when they showed the client the video, the client actually wanted to pay for it because they wanted to use it. This isn't a tactic I'd always recommend, but it can work in certain situations. I've seen other people have success with it, and at the very least, you'll have a cool demo reel project with your creative vision behind it. 
advertise. Try Google ads or Facebook ads. They've worked for us in the past and they normally have a free trial to give you some money to get started. See if it works in your area. If you have a good website, getting more eyeballs on it could help you get some business. And you can use the analytics from Google to track your leads and see where people are going on your website. Use this info to create better content and convert those people to customers. Know your strengths and weaknesses. If you're a camera operator, but you know nothing about sound, make sure you have a good sound tech with you when you're hired to film something. Or if you're amazing at directing, but you know nothing about editing, make sure you team up with a good editor. And this person may end up hiring you for your skills when they have a job. Who's the Calvin to your Hobbs? Who's the Ren to your Stimpy? Oh, Ren. Always keep your customer happy and pay attention to the needs of your client. Even though you might want a fancy Steadicam shot for your demo reel, the client might just want a static, simple shot. Suggest creative ideas, but make sure to focus on what they need. Listen to your client and help them carry out their vision. They might just bring you back for another job. Hmm. Network and build relationships. The film industry is a lot about who you know. If you have a network of people, you also have people who can help you out if you're in a pinch or if you need someone to cover for you. Sometimes people may need to rent your gear or you may need to rent their gear. Having friends in the industry is always a plus. You don't always need to be competitive with others in the film industry. Help each other out. You'll bring each other up together because the next job they can't do because their Aunt Matilda's in town for the chili cook-off, they might be calling you to fill in. Pinch hit it, cowboy. Oh, yeah. Are you ready? Okay. Have a positive attitude on set. This is something clients always notice and other crew. If you're enjoyable to be around, you have a good work ethic and you have a good attitude, people will hire you over people who don't. I've had clients tell me they didn't enjoy working with a certain crew member because they had a bad attitude. Even though they were super talented, they didn't want them on set. We ended up going with a less talented crew member just because they had a better attitude. Personality goes a long way. You gotta be like 10 times more charming than that Arnold on Green Acres. All right, well, we hope these tips were helpful. It can definitely be a lonely road as a freelancer, but don't get discouraged. If you try out these tips, I can guarantee, can I actually guarantee, that you'll be pleasantly surprised with the results. And we're always here if you have questions. So good luck out there, and we'll see you next week. That's two scoops of goodness right there. I could do the video. I can make the video. And then, you know, if you talk like Arnold, they, well, they might actually not want to hire you.